welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special Ken. I'm Radar, and that it is Old Rasputin. It's nine percent alcohol by volume. It's a stout. It's Imperial. a product of the USA, Russian, not Russia. Russian Imperial Stout. Ooh, some beefy that's, beer. That's dark. Now, uh, I, I had some of this in draft form uh, about dark. two days ago. Oh, really? So I'm already I'm already familiar with the beer. But we had quite a few requests for it. Um, like I said, it's 9% alcohol. This beer is probably, we didn't chill it for a really long time, so it's probably slightly below room temperature. You don't want to drink stout super cold. Yeah. Um, Brings out more flavor. Uh, you, you can't see. There's a light those. right there. I, even towards the light, you can't really see. I through. know. What, I can. I can make out three of the light bulbs. The one that's for, there's the one that's pointing away from me. I can't see, but there, I can make out three of them. It's got a very manly, uh, dark khaki head on it. This is this is an intense beer, man. Uh, it smells very sweet, but sweet in the way that stout smells. Sort uh, of, sort of a. A sort of a, a, an iced coffee type sweetness. Obviously you get the darkly roasted malts in there. Um, maybe a hint of coffee, a little vanilla. I was going to call it cream, but yeah, vanilla is better. Up. Well, let's do it. It smells really good though. Like I don't even particularly like coffee, but this smells amazing. I feel like smelling this is a meal all by itself. Put it in your mouth. Put it in my mouth. It's been a while since I've had a really good stout. Well, let me rephrase that. A good bottle stout. And it's uh, much better in draft form, but this is very, very good. That's intense. You can tell it's boozy. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a booziness to it. You get nice, darkly roasted malts up front. Mm -hmm. End of it's kind of roasty as well. Yeah. A little bit of coffee. It's kind of creamy. Um... It's it's really good. It really is. Um, and you did get a little bit of the booziness in there. You're right. If smelling it tastes like a meal, drinking it tastes like a banquet. I'm mm -hmm. like I'm instantly full. Like I could be a starving man on the top of a mountain. Somebody could throw a bottle of this from like an airplane or something. And one drink of this would sustain me all the way to the bottom of the mountain. I don't drink <laughs> stouts a lot during the hot times, just because you know it's hot. Oh yeah, this is heavy. this is definitely kind of a kind of a. A winter, winter beer. beer. I know. I know. I got friends who drink stouts all the time. I just. I can't do it. I like when it's hot out. I just feel like they're too heavy. I like something refreshing. Well, if you have air conditioning, slash slash money to run your air conditioning, there you go. That's actually the the differentiation right there. Um, or if you have a basement, stouts just stay in the basement. Crawl space. In the crawl space. I feel like it's probably a bad place to keep anything that's consumable. Uh, <laughs> it's got a nice bitterness too. Um, it, it's really good. Uh, price on it is tree fifty. A bottle? Yeah, uh, it runs about eight dollars for a pint in draft form. I would definitely get. I've seen this in bombers. I would definitely get a bomber of this just just to have in the basement in case I felt like having it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this beer, Old Rasputin, an eight and a half. It is very good, almost excellent. Uh, it would get a nine if it wasn't as expensive as it is. If it was fifty cents less it than is, it I, if it was fifty expensive. cents less than what I paid for it, I would be okay with it. But it was just a hair too much, and it was probably liquor barn because they're a little bit expensive. But they are a little bit. Expensive. Um, well, that's what you get when you have when you have like fifty kinds of beer instead of three kinds of beer. If they have more than fifty. Then, but yeah, um, definitely eight and a half. I would highly recommend if you're into stouts. Um, this is probably one of the best stouts out there. Uh, this would probably be in my top five hint for a future video. Uh, stouts, for sure. What mm -hmm. about you, Radar? Um, yeah, the price tag kind of makes me want to lower. It, it makes me want to lower the the, uh, the score, but it's very good, and I will buy more now that I've had it. Now that you've bought it, I've had it before, so. Um, oh, it's totally worth it. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 8. It's very good. Uh, the next time I see it in Bombers, I'll probably get one, maybe two of them. Um, just because sometimes you want something a little bit more heavy and, and intense in its flavor, and this is exactly that. 
It's so heavy. Obviously, I recommend it. I'm assuming you recommend it. Yes. All right. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks Do all watching. those things.